Hey, what's up, Tigo here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to record the screen of your iPhone, iPod, or even iPad without needing to jailbreak your device. So no need to jailbreak as long as you have iOS 5 or S6 or even higher than that. Uh, this will work pretty much. It's pretty easy and uh, it works uh, quite well. As you can see, this is uh, pretty much how it look. Uh, what you see on my screen right now is my iPhone I have right here in my hand. And as you can see, it's pretty responsive, pretty smooth. Uh, and uh, you know you got quite a good frame rate so you can like review or record stuff like games and stuff like that uh, with moving graphics and hopefully you guys can see this uh, with the lighting but uh, as you guys can see it is pretty uh, responsive and and practically instant so whatever you do on your phone is is practically instantly reflected on uh, the recording which is pretty cool so that's what I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do today it works both on Windows and on Mac uh, so let's get right into it so the first thing you'll need to make this work is get this application or program, whatever you want to call it, uh, called Reflector, which you can download off this webpage right here. Of course, I'll be leaving the link uh, to this page in the description and you can go ahead and download it from here. Again, works both on Windows and on Mac, so that's not a problem. It does have a 10 minute trial period. I know that's kind of short, although it is possible to uninstall it and reinstall it and re if you want to retry for those 10 minutes uh, or just buy it if you really want to. Uh, if you really like it, but go ahead and uh, download it from their website. Go ahead and install it just like any uh, normal application. Now, once you've installed and launched up the application, you want to make sure that your firewall doesn't block it if you're on Windows. So make sure you you accept or you allow a reflector to uh, communicate through your network if you're on Windows. And if you're on Mac, that should not be a problem at all. Um, one thing you want to make sure to do, though, is that your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. So go ahead and put on your Wi-Fi on your phone and put on your Wi-Fi on your computer uh, or just be connected to the same network as um, your phone pretty much so uh, they can communicate in between each other. Now, the last thing you need to do is on your phone, you don't need to download any application. All you need to do is unlock your phone, go ahead and double tap your home button so it pops up that little uh, multitasking thing and go ahead and swipe twice to the right. Uh, this will bring you to the volume slider. And as you can see right next to the volume slider, if you've connected your phone properly to the Wi-Fi, as well as connected your computer to that same Wi-Fi network, you should see that little button here, which is a little square and an arrow, uh, which is for the AirPlay. So go ahead and click on that AirPlay button. This will open up a little new window here. And there you can go ahead and choose which device you want to AirPlay to. So here you want to choose your computer uh, in my case, my computer is called Mackie and uh, go ahead and select that. And once you've selected your computer, make sure that the mirroring is uh, set to on. So you want to make sure the mirroring is on, otherwise it will not work and go ahead and uh, click on done. And from there on, your uh, phone should automatically appear on your computer at this point. Uh, if you have your reflector application open, it should have popped up on your screen by now. Now this is roughly how it will look on your screen depending what device uh, you have connected. So once again, this can also be an iPad uh, or an iPod as well. It will pretty much look like this. And uh, not only you can see your screen, it does actually have some extra features in the application itself. So if you go into the menu bar here uh, under device, you can do a few things here. You can enter full screen, close connection, uh, always on top, which means that you know, the window or your phone is always on top of any other window. Uh, that's not a huge thing. Here you can actually choose the frame skin. So if you have a white iPhone and you prefer a white iPhone, you can always use the white iPhone. I personally don't think it looks that great on the video. Uh, so I'm going to switch it back to black here. And then you have the start recording, which is pretty cool. You can go ahead and start recording. As you can see, uh, it has a little thing that pops up on the tops here saying that uh, it's recording. So at this point, you can just go ahead and um, record a game or something. So let me just uh, launch up something here uh, that's optimized for iPhone 5. And as you can see right there, that's another example. It does automatically switch to landscape mode, uh, which is pretty cool. So if I go back to my menu here, it goes back to portrait mode. And if I launch up a game that's landscape, it will automatically do that as well. Uh, so as you can see, uh, pretty smooth. Uh, everything does look pretty smooth. I'm not going to be playing a whole game here because I'm trying to concentrate on the, making this video as well. Uh, but as you can see, that's pretty much uh, how you can record with this app. Uh, sometimes it does resize your phone for some reason. 
Uh, you can resize it by grabbing it at the corners. And once you're done recording, you can press Command or Control R and it will stop recording and it will ask you where you want to save this. So it will simply save it as a, a QuickTime movie. So, you know, you can just uh, uh, post it on YouTube or something like that, or maybe uh, add it in your editing program or something like that. So you can go ahead and use that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and once again, it does have this landscape support, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, you can also enter full screen, as I already mentioned before, if you want to kind of focus on uh, the phone and have a black background behind that, it might be easier for videos uh, to follow so people uh, can follow easier. Uh, so that's pretty much all the main features this application has. Um, and again, I'll be leaving a link to uh, the website where you can get this application in the description of this video. So go ahead and check that out. And that's pretty much how to record uh, your iPhone screen without uh, jailbreaking it or iPad or iPhone, iPod, doesn't really matter. But uh, I'll thank you a lot for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Like my video if you did, uh, found it helpful and uh, subscribe to my channel. That would be very much appreciated. Definitely helps out my channel. I'll thank you a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.